everyone. All right, so be honest, do you see a change? Um, just kidding, you probably don't, and that's okay. Um, I'm going, progress is going really well. It's slow and steady, and that's just the way that I want it. So, perfect. And how do I know that this, there has been change? Um, that's because I've been taking a lot of measurements between you know what I'm eating every day to the workouts that I'm doing to my weight and I wanted to share with you guys um, what it's like to go through a hydrostatic body fat test um, it's one of the more accurate ways to get your body fat tested um, there are others and I hopefully will talk about them later but for today I kind of want to explain how does this test work um, scientifically too because um, I'm a nerd, if you didn't know that. Um, and shout out to my mom, a physics teacher. I mean, can I help myself really? Um, so first, let's see what it actually looks like in person to get your hydrostatic body fat test done. Um, I went to Fitness Wave NorCal. Um, they are the, basically this mobile unit. They drive around, they have a bathtub in it. Uh, the guy who works there is super cool. Basically, you get uh, submerged into water, and you know they do all these calculations, which I'll get to later, and out comes your body fat percentage. Uh, so check out the process. So this will be fun. I promise. Oh, so I'm gonna oh, sorry. Basically, be on this line, this like metal thing, and I'm gonna get dumped, and I have to blow out all the air to be accurate. Okay. So. Put your fingers open so we don't squish anything and you go whenever you're ready. Okay. Bye. Oh wait, I shouldn't be breathing in. Out first. Good. Close. We just want your head down a little deeper at the end. Oh, that's Empty, so close. then a little deeper, then up. And the results, um, so, oh, they were good. Okay, so I'm gonna be, I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, I didn't get the plus two pounds of muscle, but it was like one point, hold on. It was like 1.3 or, oh, 1.26 and then, but I lost um, 3.26 pounds of fat. So that's actually like really good because normally they go in the same direction. Like if you put on fat, you put on muscle. Um, or if you lose muscle, you lose fat, same thing, but, but I actually lost fat and gained muscle. So that's a really good thing. So I am totally happy with that. And I'll be really excited to see what the results are in five months from now when I'm really close to my competition. Hello, Professor Krista here. Um, and by that, I mean Professor Krista, which means basically I'm paying homage to Bro Science, which is an awesome YouTube channel. If you haven't heard of it, you should check it out. And also, I'm working out in a muscle shirt because, you know, strong body, strong mind. Why can't you have both? All right, so let's explain the hydrostatic body fat test. Um, first, we're going to solve for my density. And why are we doing that? Well, if you think about it, you know, muscle weighs more than fat. So if I'm more dense, it means I have more muscle, less dense, more fat. All right, so we have a little cheat sheet to help here. We are, again, solving for my density. My mass is pretty easy to find, right? Uh, 60,000 grams, step on a scale. But my volume is a little bit harder. Um, I suppose I could just have gone into the bathtub and we could measure, you know, that incremental uh, displacement of water, but that's probably a little less accurate. Instead, we could use that scale like you saw in the video and actually take my weight in the water. Uh, now, how does this all work? Well, it depends on Archimedes' principle, which basically says that the buoyant force acting up on the object is equal to the weight of the water displaced. 
Um, so if you think about it, you know, I'm going to weigh more on land than I do in the water. And the difference between that is that buoyant force. Um, in other words, if we factor out gravity, the mass of the water displaced, or my volume, is equal to my dry mass minus my wet mass. And because we have the scale in the water, we know my wet mass to be 5,350 grams. Um, to solve for volume, we take the mass of the water divided by the density of the water, which is one, and we get 54,650 milliliters. All right, so now we have my mass, now we have my volume. We can plug that in and get 1.098 grams per milliliter is my density. Now taking that, we can plug it into this Brozek equation, um, which you can see right here. It's a little complicated, but you know, you plug in my density and out comes this body fat percentage of 20.1%. Now, I did some rounding and um, I didn't take into account everything. I'm not exactly sure how Fitness Wave does their calculations. Um, but to be clear, when I actually went through the test, my body fat percentage was somewhere around 23.7. And I'm going to have to get into the single digits when I compete. Most likely. Depends what I look like. So, I have a far way to go, but I have a long time in which to do it. Anyway, some of the other factors that could have led to um, some differences in my actual body fat percentage and when I got here and, and even when I got through the test um, are due to air, right? The residual volume of air in my lungs, um, my bone mass um, could be different from other people's. And then this final equation is a little bit um, of an assumption too. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty good way to get body fat percentage. And I was really happy with it. I thought it was really cool. Um, and I would suggest you check it out if you're interested. Thanks for making me learn something this week. I really enjoyed it.